Hello, my name is Nicole Maggard, and this is my Lab 9 for ECE 3300, and basically what I have right in front of you is the five requirements I have for my alarm clock, and what I have as number one is the system shall track the time from which it started when not in alarm mode. I'm also going to demonstrate number four, which says the system shall pause the count in either direction when the enable switch is low. So basically what I have here, this first switch, <clears throat> is the enable switch, so basically when I flip it high, we're going to start counting up. And if I flip it low, we'll stop counting. So there we go. We're starting to count up. And so requirement number two, system shall count down to zero and turn an indicator LED on when in alarm mode. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. This, LED, or this switch right here is alarm mode. And then LED number two right here, this is the alarm mode uh, LED. So when I flip alarm mode on, we should see that LED go down or go up. And then we should see this count go down. As we see, count is going down, indicator LED is up, um, and then I'll go ahead and show number three, the system shall stay at zero and play music indefinitely when alarm mode is on and has counted to zero, should start the count over and stop the music when alarm mode is turned off. Um, so basically we're waiting for this to go to zero. Once it goes to zero, we'll hear music play indefinitely until I flip alarm mode off, and in which case we'll start counting back up. So alarm mode has counted down to zero. We're playing music. I'll go ahead and flip alarm mode off on the switch and we'll start counting up again. So we see we're counting up again and so there we go. And then um, I'll go ahead and start counting down again just to show that the enable works in both directions. So I, I turned off the enable and I re-enabled and there we go. And then, so then the final requirement here is the system shall load in a value at any time with the last, with the values of the last 12 switches when the load switch is high. So the load switch here is this switch, uh, switch number three, and the last 12 switches, it, or the last six switches are, are minute switches, and then the six before that are going to be the second switches. So then when I flip load high, we should see uh, six and let's see, this is 32 and 8, so we should see 640 pop up when I do this. And that's exactly what we see. So then I'll flip load low, and it will continue the count up. And then I'll go ahead and start counting down. So it works in either direction. So, um, oh, and actually, while it's counting down, I'll show that the load actually works in both directions. Like that. So that's pretty much everything. Thank you for watching. Sorry it's a little bit long.